thank you for defeating the freeways in the 60 and saving Chinatown because that allowed me as a Chinese Canadian growing up in Vancouver to live my culture authentically growing up. Um, so Chinatown right now is facing intense development pressures. Um, in fact, City Hall is also proposing policies that would allow for developments that are potentially half block wide. Some people are calling this the freeway of condos in our generation that will destroy Chinatown. So to both mayors, from your perspective, what is the importance of Chinatown to Vancouver? And where do you see the future of Chinatown? Yeah, well, I'll start. And thanks for the question on that. It's, mm -hmm. It is a really challenging circumstance because City Council approved a, a Chinatown community plan uh, years ago, uh, and about five, five or six years ago, and that looked at uh, some new development in Chinatown. Uh, and we've seen a couple of those buildings built on Main Street that are bigger buildings, basically to get more people uh, moving back into Chinatown. And that, the, the sense from the community at that point was, was quite a delicate balance of we have to take care of the historic, this is a national historic uh, neighborhood, we have to take care of the history, the heritage, and we have to make Chinatown vital again. At that point, the, the storefront vacancies were off the charts, and it was kind of a low point, I think, overall uh, for Chinatown. And and it, it's, it's been really difficult to see Chinatown lose so much momentum over the years from, you know, from the memories I have as a kid of Chinatown being really bustling and, and an incredible, incredible neighborhood for uh, for sidewalk activity and, and culture uh, to uh, the state that it got to in 2010 when we were considering that plan. So um, some development has happened. City staff are, are looking at these next steps, and I think that that one point about half block assemblies, I don't think the council will will uh, support that at this point. I think. The, the, the small storefronts are really what Chinatown is all about, and I think we have to be very, very careful with changes that we make in the Chinatown neighborhood. And important to deal with the housing needs. There's a lot of Chinese seniors in many of the buildings. There are a whole bunch of buildings that are, uh, you know, over a century old. They're historic buildings, and the societies and associations that own them can't afford to to uh, improve them and uh, and do serious renovations. So we've got a, a much deeper problem uh, taking care of that neighborhood and investing in the buildings that frankly we, we are gonna need provincial and federal government support to do. If this is truly a national, a national historic district, it, we're gonna need uh, some support to, to make sure we take care of the buildings there and particularly the housing. But it's, uh, it's there's a lot of tension in the community around certain projects. Uh, the Keeper Triangle being one example of that, right across from the, uh, from the garden, Sun Yat-sen Garden. Uh, we've, we've got you know, sort of hot spots within Chinatown that the community is weighing in on and we've got to make decisions on this year. And that overall plan that's, uh, that's coming on the table with uh, how do we maintain the character and, and get lots of activity. There's lots of great new businesses in Chinatown, great restaurants, and there's a real revival going on. But there's also a, a, you know, a Starbucks on, on Main Street now, uh, that, uh, much to the dismay of many, uh, that does, tra you know, there's real change in the character that's, uh, that's at stake right now. And I know my council is very mindful of that, and we are going to be really careful with next steps and, and, and expecting that there'll be lots of community engagement on this, that there, people have to be involved in helping shape this. So when we went through it in 2010, lots of people got involved, and I think we, hit the mark in terms of a balance, but we're, we're at another juncture here where we're gonna need lots of community input and make the best decisions we can for Chinatown and, and try to have more people, have more life, have more business, but uh, don't lose the, the magic of Chinatown. Okay. Just to reinforce that, uh, I, I was at a meeting on Friday with uh, Frank Kaplan and I had a group called Building Community Society that built along uh, helped uh, get off the ground. Mike Clay he used to be the uh, executive director of the Carnegie Center. <clears throat> and I can reinforce what Gregory said. The staff 
are going to be here. They've heard that they concerns about ruining the essence of Chinatown. Uh, and also the reality, you're not going to be able to have the Chinatown bowl. That the Chinese community have basically gone elsewhere. Gone to Richmond, they've gone to Victoria Drive, Victoria Drive they've gone Burnaby. elsewhere, Burnaby. Uh, but the, it's still the heart and soul of Chinese culture in, in the region. And that heritage and cultural context is what we want to keep the essence of, particularly on the three and a half blocks on Penn Street and around the Chinese Cultural Center and, it's, and Dr. Sun and Sun Garden, both of which need, they're getting a little uh, yeah. threadbare and they need, they need some investment to bring them up to speed. But if, 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 we, if the staff are, were very encouraging, they said we're not going to allow 200 foot frontages, that these old heritage buildings and the, the shops on the bottom <coughs> are really important. For, for the feel of Chinatown. We've got to find ways to make those old buildings work. And we've got to find the scale, the height, and the scale of development work in Chinatown. And, and so the council, as Gregory said, are aware of that. The staff are. And I think there's a report coming to council in the next couple of months to try and keep that essence. But allow, the, you know, the next century of uh, <clears throat> revitalization of Chinatown to happen which isn't going to be the same as the last century. However, I'd love to bring back the orange door and the red door and the green door and all those fine old restaurants in the back alley of the industry. And, and if we do that, it means that the drug dealers and the addicts are out of those lanes and they're being restored to the people of Vancouver. So, you know, I, I, I think there's a struggle that's going to take place. Um, I think we can win it. I think we keep the essence of the Chinese culture and the huge contribution to our city. Uh, that 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 is. I mean, it's it's really part of the heart and soul along Gastown of um, of the Heritage Vancouver. Okay, great. All right, we will take.